Hey everybody, I'm just a certain I may change. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing fine if you're watching this video from any part of the world. I believe that you're alive and healthy and everything is going well in your life and your family. So this video I'm shooting it from right from Kenya. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you shall be able to be among the first people to watch my video. All right. Sana to our channel. So today I'm here with my baby sister. We want to share, you know, we want to take you down our memory lane. All right. Back to when we were growing up and just to, you know, to, to, to cheer you up and not everything in life is just hard. Okay. Let's just get to do this video. All right. Hey, say hi to my people. <laughs> hi everyone. My name is Lydia Dola and today I'm here with my sister. We're going to share about our childhood memories that we had. Some were terrible and some are happy moments. All right. <laughs> so, Lydia, do you Nini unaweza kumbuka tukiwa wadogo wenye tu ili, ili, nilikufanyia ama mtu alikufanyia ikakubambisha ama ikakukasirisha Eh hey, mimi tunaweza sema kuna moja hapo sijui ni ite funny moment ama ni <laughs> <laughs> ama ni akulia uh, kuna time fulani tulikuwa na wageni na ilikuwa Christmas So mama kanituma hizi vyombo vya bike kwa meza <laughs> ni kulete na mko naosha zingine so ni kama uliweka tu ati ah watu mbona wananiongezea vyombo so what you did ulichukua hiyo kitu ya kusugua vyombo ukanigonga nayo kwa what mbona hiyo si kumbuka so after kunigonga and me being the last born nikaenda kusema nikasema ati oh nimegongwa na hiki kitu jo kupeleka vyombo by the time tunarudi nje na mama umechafua maji yote na na kichungia majani nikasema mimi nimechafua yote so sorry ka change hapo mimi ndo nakimbizwa and my mama alikuwa ule mtu wenye ako na mbio ni hata nakushinda sako nyumba na mimi then tulikuwa na visitor fulani hapa alikuwa na fundi anatengenezea furniture fundi alikuwa ananichia hapo kimbia kimbia Mkinisa yeah. uh -huh. mama kwa nyuma na long stick ile ya mahindi. Anaenda tu akinifikia tu anigonga na nigonga. The funny thing hiyo kitu sikumbuki na how the way mention the way mention at all. Eh yeah, so wasemi nilikuwa nawaambia yeye anaweza kumbuka. Ni siku moja kuna siku nyo wazazi wetu walienda I think Kisii town. So hii time tukambua tuchunge ngombe twende tuikatie nyasi tuipatie maji na tuipatie ile chakula ya ngombe mwelewa sijui ni molasses sama inaitwa nini we so my sister kasahau kuipatia maji so I, what i did nilichukua ni, ni sufuria ya kupika chakula <laughs> nilichukua ni sufuria ya kupika chakula hmm? the big one nilimkimbiza nayo nikamrushia akahata ikaenda kagonga mti ikabondeka so nikajua hapa mama kikuja hapa kutakuwa na shida after that nilimkimbiza kwa shamba tulikanyaga mahindi mahindi zilikuwa zile zile kile tufupi tulikanyaga mahindi tukakanyaga maharagwe ni sukuma ni sukuma we afu mama nakuja jioni nini nilifanyikia mahindi hakuna mtu anaongea nini nilifanyikia maharagwe kuna mtu anaongea mimi kwa ngoja sisi aseme sikupatia ngombe maji ile na lenikimbeza so akanyamaza hivyo hiyo ndio memory inaweza kumbuka moja kwa saa hii kwa nini nakumbuka eh inaweza kumbuka hiyo ukukua mimi nilikuwa shule sasa so, tuko tumetoka na rafiki yangu fulani shule kuna place kwa tunapitia na mi ulikuwa unaniambia niende home direct but mimi nilikuwa na kumi hmm? saa kumi eh but ulikuwa na, na safari zangu hapo katikati nafika usiku home So, usiku ah kitu kama around 5 eh yeah. na sisi tunatoka anga 310 
Okay. Umesahau so ilikuwa ukinishtaki ho mimi nasema kila kitu ni uongo. Unasema huyu anaenda kutembea na kuja usiku anasema uongo. Oh nilikuwa nafika kwa nyumba mbele yako. Mhm. Na sisi tunafunguliwa late. Wa. Si si kutumeenda mimi na rafiki yangu tulikuwa watatu. Hapo. Ni some place. Wapi? Hapo tu panaitwa haji. Chombo. Acha na chombo. Hapo Kayole. But sijio place ilikuwa itwa haji. Mhm. Hiyo nje inaelekea Tshoriani. Okay. Mhm. Sa si tuko watatu kuna shule tuko tunapenda kupitia mimi sijui naitwaje <laughs> ilikuwa na maswings so si kazi yetu ni kwenda hapo kukaka kuswing kupitia two time ni shule nyingine mm-hmm. eh, private okay so kufika huko tuko na watoto wengine na kaka watoto hivi tuko wachokoa kama nini nini wajinga tokeni hapo <laughs> Kona watu wana shughuli na sisi wako kama wa 6 hivi wa 5. Hawana shughuli si tukaenda tukapeleka urafiki wetu mmoja akafika kwao. Sasa ndio time tunarudi wawili tukaputa nje imeblockiwa. Ati mimi ya boss mimi ni hapo jeleze ndio mko mnatuambia. Sasa chokora eh mko mnatusi na naje kutoka mbali unaona ni watoto. Wewe karibu ndio unaona ni machokora. Mko mnatusi nani? Ebu kaeni hapo kakimbia sasa pale tulikuwa ma kulikuwa na building imejengwa foundation mm-hmm. na si ni wafupi eh uh-huh. unajua tuko watu wa primary si uh-huh. wafupi hizo blocks that figure somewhere uh-huh. mepita past kiuno uh-huh. na kuna places pia maji imejaa kwa hizo hizo blocks na leo ndio kijana kuna kuanga eh uh-huh. sasa tukaruka tukafika mahali we zikatulemea <laughs> tukalikuwa mnajevuka <laughs> Nimekuwa class for what tukashikwa eh? atikaini hapa <laughs> wacha anze kuchokora vitabu zetu ati hebu tuone vya nyinyi wa erevu mhm wana mhm wana angalia nasema uh-huh. kumbe nyinyi wa erevu naona umepata text mingi <laughs> <laughs> lakini bado atuwasamei mko machokoza kina nani eh uh-huh. so mmoja kaenda kuchuna kiboko yeye uh-huh. kona hey, leo ni ile siku Mbona sasa ngino ametuchunga? Kuna wamekwa distance moja kwa ikona mwingine kwa ikona. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikaangalia ikona ile kiboko mizuba. Ara <laughs> <laughs> sijui niliruka aje hizo block mbili za mwisho. <laughs> Nilikuwa nalia <laughs> but ili change kwa kicheko. <laughs> Nilicheka nikaitwa rafiki yangu mimi alikuwa anatoa Hilda. Mm. Nipa tu nimecheka ngamwambia Hilda, mimi nimeenda. <laughs> Na huyu hapo na kuangalia. Na wacha kwa wote nikao walikuwa wajinga kwa nifuata wote. Na tule mimi nakakimbia kaenda. Sasa <laughs> usiku so, kuangalia nyuma hadi nikafika home. Mm. Sasa so, nikiwa home unasikia tu mtu akikanyaka kwa stairs. Home. Eh unashtuka tu yenu akili oh. na kuonyesha ndio amenikujia. <laughs> oh. Eh tangu usiku hata sikuwa naangalia chakora na kuongelesha. Na kumbuka hizo hizo ni zile za nyao walikuwa wana pupu like the poop they put the poop in a paper and then wakikuona wanaweza kurusha either wapati chakula umebeba umeelewa ama wapati food nini to pay pesa yenye umepewa kapo kitimani ama pesa ya lunch usipowapea bas hiyo poop ni mafuta yako ya usi niliona siku mrefu sasa mimi kitu kingine nakumbuka ni auntie yangu sister sister mom nikiwa mdogo aliniambia Aliniambia niende mtoni na yeye na mtoni mbali kuenda ni mteremko na kurudi unapanda na amenipatia liters ngapi 5 liters na was in stand one we anti kama uta watch i, i video i'm really sorry by the way hata <laughs> from deepest part of my heart i'm really sorry jubime i can say i don't know what i was doing tulitembea na anti mpaka kwa mto because siku anataka ni chote ya maji siku anataka kwenda mtu ni jua mimi lazimisha nikaenda mpaka kwa mtu akafika akachota maji yake <coughs> wakati alichota akaeka kwa kichwa na mimi nikarudi na kibuyu yangu mpaka nyumbani you can imagine around 2 to 3 kilometers nimeenda mpaka kwa mtu nikaona maji ndio ki siku chota na nikarudi sasa kitu sielewi ni kwa nini hakunichapa inakumbuka kitu alikuwa anafanya aliteta na akasema tambia mama but hakunichapa aya memory ngine naweza kumbuka i don't know what i did to mom 
kitu kama mas, ma, ma, masa kumi hivi hiyo time dada alikuwa anauza matoke place nilikuwa inaitwa Awendo alikuwa anatoka asubuhi na bicycle before we came to Nairobi anaenda asubuhi na, na motorbike Three, this side of the busy tatu the, the, the whole package bunch, bunch. Eh? Bunch? Yeah, bunch. The, i don't know how it is called hiyo busy yote tatu side tatu side na moja kutoka nyuma hata sijui alikuwa anatembea aje alikuwa anaendesha aje baiskili juu eh ilikuwa mzito so <clears throat> mimi kwa na cup mama ameniambia atanichapa hey me what i did ni lenda nikakaa kwa neighbor mpaka saa tatu wakati nisikia dada akisema hey nani yako huko mko kujeni mnifungulie gate eh nikatoka mbio nikakaa nyuma ya dada eh saa tatu natoka wapi kwa mbe nilikuwa pale kwa neighbor <laughs> kwa nini Mati mama anataka kunichapa. So unataka kurudi kwa nyumba? Ati eh, nilikuwa nakungojea. We, so sometimes when I see my son reporting me to to my husband I'm like, "Wa, this is some of the things that I used to do when I was a kid, but I, at the same time I don't know why I was doing them." You yani utoto wengine, I think kuna utoto wengine na kwanza concentrated. Ibo ngalia kai unanambaka kwa mtu na kibuyu. Unafika huko, utachota hiyo maji utarudi na yoki mpaka home around 3 kilometers ikiwa empty wa hiyo ni hiyo ni ingine nye mpaka wale sijawahi sahau na zingine zenye kama ya wakati nilikuwa napanda mahindi nikiwa kwa shosho ana ananiwekea ana kuna wakati nilikuwa it's like kasha mbatu kadogo i think i was in class 2 na lima napanda mahindi mpaka maharagu alafu zikisha koma naenda nauza na wakati nilienda nikauza Lydia huko mm. huko market mm-hmm. do you know what i went to buy after i got the money <laughs> kamisi kamisi <laughs> kamisi ndani ya yani nimeenda nikanunua kamisi kamisi si dress kamisi ile skirt mm-hmm. ya red dress dress uniform ni blue <laughs> alafu <laughs> lace kwa chini niko na lace wakati unacheza so unashinda ukiskip <laughs> ukiskip na kila mtu ne kuna kamisi kamisi <laughs> Unashindwa umeskip na kila mtu anaenda kwa na kamisi. Kamisi mpya. Ya white, amekuwa ya white. Alafu ukuje hapo, eh lakini maisha ushaguja mimi. Ilikuwa kala red. <laughs> Alafu uniform ni uniform ni blue. Alafu kuna shule nyingine iko na tembea pia around kama 5 kilometers away. Eh Mungu toa watu mbali shule. 5 kilometers away. Na huna viatu. Na what side umebeba hizi ma kuna hizi ma, ma mametumwa shule eh ma, 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 mamiti za ndizi ma, migomba ya ndizi pande moja pa nyingine umebeba maji 5 liters ya walimu kukunywa pa nyingine sijui kuni na uko na bag yako kwa mgongo na hiyo bag imetengenezwa na uzi gai yako si nikuwa na siku mrefu kuna kitu ndio naweza kumka tukio adobe migomba zilikuwa za nini za kwenda ku fence cho za walimu ah eh <laughs> Eh, wewe ndio unasomea chaguje ile matamu. Chozo walimu. Chozo walimu. Macha tu alafu zilikuwa na kaje. Zilikuwa pit. Zina fungo zina zina kuna vile na chomeleo hivi round. Kuna vile tu zina hata nimedhani ningeombeza shule mnapeleke. Hapana nimegomba imekauka. Unabeba na na alafu kuna muiba mwingine pia unafaa kubeba hizo muiba zenda ku fence. Fence ya shule. Eh. Eh, tabu bana. Okay. Sijui kama kuna kitu kingine naweza kumbuka. Ile yani naweza naweza wakati mwingine nilikuwa naishi na shoshu. Eh, nilikuwa haki si nilikuwa na bidii. Nilikuwa na na boma nyumba na koroga udongo ya ngombe kwa kwa bucket na una mix na ni udongo ya ngombe. Pupu ya ngombe una mix na nini ya? Nitwaje udongo na maji then una boma nyumba round even the floor eh nasa na Maria Nairobi na Maria Nairobi Nairobi nimekuwa Nairobi I can't remember the last time my dad hit me but yeye nakumbuka yale ni chapanga ya kwanza nilikuwa class 1 I go eh, nilikuwa ushago nilenda shule nikachelewa kufika so nikakaa hapo nje guy nikaona saa sita imefika nikafikiria ni saa saba. so simi nikarudi nyumbani nikasema <laughs> nimekujia lunch. Woi. <laughs> Sema kuchapwa. Alafu dad ni yule anakuchapa na anakuambia kiboko imeisha. Endea nyingine. Unaleta. Hiyo ni chapa sana. 
Alafu ile sasa alikuja kunichapa nikiwa class 4. Nilikuwa nimewasha uniform yangu na yako na nikabrush viatu. So hiyo uniform on a Sunday nikasahau ndani ya basic nikaenda. So kutoka church unamimi unatoka church alafu unakuja kuchapwa. Unatoka church. Aya, dadi ndio huyo. Mbona huko washa uniform? Eh, na saa hiyo ni uniform yenyewe niliosha ni kwa sababu siku ya nilisahau kuanika. Alene slap nikaenda nikatembea nikakuja saa moja. Alipo jeni alifaya. Mm. Nikapata amenipikia mayai na ugali. Niambia, "Nasikia nja. Umekuwa wapi?" Eh, memory si zingine jameni. <laughs> We, well, I don't know if my viewers pia wao pale wako na memory kadhaa wanaweza kenda kushare. I will let you. Kuna ngine wanaweza kumbuka? Eh, mimi niko na mingi lakini hizo zizo ni tu nimesema je tu zibaki hapo. Eh, alafu There is one I remembered. Parents, parents, parents who have baby girls. Nowadays even those who have baby boys be really careful. I almost got raped. Did you know that? There is this time uncle uncle the brother to mom alikuwa anakuja na kutembelea. So he used to come with another friend. And this friend one day akiwa amekuja kutembelea peke yake na mama was in the kitchen. Hey, this guy was yani alikuwa ati anataka kuni hug I'm going to stand at one sure you want to hug me so tightly for what and then he's asking me who is this on the photos on the photos eh hey, alafu nikaangalia venye ananiangalia was so uncomfortable imagine because of mom being strict i never said it what i can say is parents be careful with people whom you don't know whom you don't trust nowadays that are relatives <laughs> Mm. una cha mtoto wako boy child or girl child na wa wa trust sana you can trust anybody with your kid mm. una cha mtoto hapo sikizi hata wana rape baby boys baby girls huh? so you need to be careful you just, it's just something that you need to think about a lot before you let your girl or your son to you know to to stay with somebody hapo around because for me I learned a lesson from them even if I didn't say bado your memory ni venye huyo mtu siezi mkumbuka saa hii but alikuwa ananipatia macho zingine zenye like wewe nikikushika vizuri we mimi kutoka hiyo si kwa I usually don't like kukucheza na maisha ya mtoto yeah you remember anything in Nairobi ah uh, Nairobi ndio sema eh likasirisha dad nilikuwa tunachukua magazeti unakata ile picha imekufurahisha unachukua kitabu mpya kitabu yote kitabu mpya eh kitabu yote imebandikwa tu mapicha but then we used to it <laughs> what was that so unakuja unachukua maybe umepata ati kuna shakes makena umebandika hapo <laughs> bridal kina, kina kina bridal bridal show umeweka hapo wale wa bumbu mbaya mko anaitwa nani Isa eh kina Isa sasa so, kumoja dada amekuja na shanga eh hii kitabu imejazwa <laughs> Ni kwa chakereza ni kama album ya ma celebrity. Eh hiyo siku tuliteteshwa. What? Anyway guys, that's all for today and those were the memories that we had when we were kids. And I hope you liked and enjoyed watching the video. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, and the God bless you. Let's grow together. Thank you so much guys. Until next time. Bye. Come on, folks, come on here. Bye. <laughs> Just breathe in and breathe out. You've been crying for some time now. Lost your mind. Live